Now behold, it came to pass, in the days of Herod the king, there went out wise men from the east, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. See, they are following their star, and so shall we. We have traveled back 2,000 years and more to Nazareth, a poor little town on a scrubby hillside in Galilee. And in a house in the town on the hill lives Mary. She and Joseph, he is the carpenter in Nazareth, she and Joseph have made promises to one another. Soon, Joseph and Mary will start building their simple life together. A home, hard work, healthy children, here in Nazareth. This is what their promises mean. It is their hope and their dream. The angel Gabriel has been sent from God to this virgin, whose name is Mary. Hey Mary, don't be frightened. You have been chosen out of all women. The Lord God is with you. You will give birth to a son and you'll call him Jesus. He will be the king of all people and his kingdom. It will never end. But how can this be? I'm not even married. It's impossible. <laughs> Nothing is impossible for God, Mary. The Spirit of God will come upon you. The power of God will overshadow you. Your baby, Mary, will be called God's own son. Oh? Oh, then <laughs> let it be. Let it all happen, just as you've said. And in her heart, and deep in her soul, Mary rejoices. But when she tells Joseph that an angel has visited her, and already the child is growing inside her, <laughs> no, no, he cannot believe such a story. Who could possibly believe it? Oh, poor Mary. He wants to protect her, but how can he trust her now? An angel. As the months go by, Mary and Joseph marry and make ready. God has given them both the same message, the same trust, the same task. Together they will raise God's child. There is so much to do preparing their simple home to welcome this baby.
decree has gone out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Every man must return to his own city to be counted. Joseph's ancestors are from Bethlehem. It's a long journey there and back. Oh, he cannot go. He can't leave Mary. It's nearly time for the baby to be born. Yet the Emperor of Rome must be obeyed. He cannot leave, and he dare not stay. Yet there is an answer. And so, together, they leave Nazareth, out into the hills of Galilee, down into Judea, following the road to Bethlehem. full of travellers who have gathered for the census. All pushing, shoving, making sure they have somewhere to sleep. A bed, a room, a lodging. At last, safe and sound, behind closed doors, the city settles down to sleep. Mary and Joseph are latecomers. There is no room left. And by now, it is urgent. Mary needs shelter and privacy and a place to lie down. to take shelter in a stable, dark and dirty, <laughs> but better by far than nothing at all. Now there are, in that same country, shepherds out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. When darkness falls, sheep huddle together for safety. In the dead of night, even shepherds with their stink of mutton grease and their work black hands, even they huddle together. But the night is very long and very dark. Oh, stupid boy, stupid boy. Oh.
The angel of the Lord has come upon them, and the glory of the Lord is shining round about them, and they are so afraid. Fear not, says the angel. Don't be afraid. I have come with wonderful news, good tidings of great joy, and not just for you, but for all people. For this very night, a baby has been born in Bethlehem. He is a gift to you from God, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign. He is wrapped simply in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there is with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, saying, Glory to God, on earth, peace, goodwill to all mankind. A baby? In the manger? In Bethlehem? Oh, all this they must see. Hurry up. to worship him. We brought gifts, gold, frankincense, myrrh. When Herod the king hears all this, he is troubled. He is the king. And he has no baby son. He gathers his advisors, asks them what it all means. Ah, does King Herod not remember uh, an ancient promise given by God to his people? Uh, one day God will send someone special, the Saviour, the Messiah, the King of Kings, and he will be born? Born where? Here, in the great city of Jerusalem? Ah, uh, no, not here. In uh, Bethlehem. Bethlehem? Hmm. Herod has a plan. He sends the wise men off to Bethlehem. Go and search carefully for the young child. Uh, when you find him, do come back and tell me. I can take him a gift as well. The wise men have no reason to doubt Herod, for the star is back, and indeed it leads them straight to the little town of Bethlehem. Finally, the star stops right 
over the place where the baby is laid. The journey has been very long and very hard, and at last they are here. Gold, frankincense, myrrh. Yet the greatest treasure of all lies asleep in his mother's arms. town on the scrubby hillside in Galilee, home to the place in which God has put his trust, home to Nazareth, safe at last. A home, 
hard work, healthy children, this was their dream. The angels have tiptoed away. The star is hiding its light. But the dream came true. For we are told the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. <laughs>